I would say one of the biggest challenges that I face today when I go to a farm and try to bring the value of a nitrogen stabilizer is always, so what's the cost of the product and why wouldn't I just put on more pounds of, of actual in? You know, I've always tried to have simple analogies when I go to the farm and one of the easiest ones I can always talk about is a fence. So if I've got a barbed wire fence and cattle on the backside and there's a hole in there, am I going to use that little investment and close that gap or just keep putting cattle in and you know letting them go out? I would say today that guys are justifying their concerns of not stabilizing nitrogen is just a cost. Too many times we truly look at what is a cost per unit of nitrogen and that's it. We're not worried about what environmental factors might be happening. We're not worried about how many passes we might be making across that field to get to the same result as if we would have just stabilized that nitrogen to begin with in one pass. I would say another major challenge right now is farmers understanding what their true cost is per acre. And quite a few of them will look at it as, I might take my nitrogen and put it on at different times throughout that growing season, different rates and different passes. And while agronomically that might be the right thing to do in that given year and unbiased wise, I might even tell guys to potentially do that. But there is gonna be a time where we look at what does each pass cost us. My whole job has been, if you only have $200 per acre, I wanna make sure that we're maximizing every dollar spent on that farm. And if a stabilizer is that piece that's gonna help, I'm gonna drive that home. Especially when we talk about you know, $100 worth of that 200 might be infertility. If I can protect that investment, and if I can truly make that more profitable, that, is, I mean, that is what I'm here for. That is my whole job.